I don't even know what this video is gonna turn into. I'm just gonna be taking you guys literally with me through a whole sort of day in the life. It's 11 a.m. right now, so I'm already a little bit into the day. I just got done talking to a bunch of my students on a group call and helping some people out with some really important stuff related to e-commerce. Carter, what happened? I went out that first YouTube video you made. Yeah. We were in our Vegas. <laughs> Due to the circumstances, we're having to leave early. So, yeah, I'll update you guys when we get back. So, what's up? What's up? That man, the Vaughn. The man. So we have no idea what happened to the Wi-Fi or why it's not working, but yeah, we're having to head back to the crib. We've got a long drive. It's hot in the car. It's like steaming in here. So we're about to go grab some gas, head back home, and then just resume the day from the house. Jeremy Ray. So we got the healthy kombucha. This is like the best drink to have, like whenever you're feeling like tired, shit just gets you right back in the zone. But I wanted to explain the importance of really understanding your mind and how important it is to know the decisions you're making are the decisions that you actually you know want to make in order to create the outlook on life that you actually want to achieve i'm saying this because i see a lot of people look over it they look over the fact that like i need to educate myself in order to make decisions in day-to-day -day life school the one thing that we did learn in school is how to learn and a lot of people just stop learning after they get out of school and this is what keeps them in this trapped type of mindset right the people who learn the people who continually read books, seek education, read audiobooks, listen to podcasts, watch YouTube. Those people excel in the real world because they keep learning, right? And they learn about the things that they're going through. They learn about the issues that they're having. Instead of complaining, they look it up. Instead of thinking, why me, why me, why me? They go find somebody else who went through that situation and learn from their situation in order to put them ahead of the rest of the society. Doing that and actually, you know, implementing education into your daily life and your daily schedule, you guys will start to see a very positive positive benefit in your life and that's why I wanted to share that with you. In this video, I wanted to make it a day in the life slash just, you know, very educational video on kind of how I structure my day because I feel like it's important to not only, you know, like show it in some videos, but also explain it to you guys and explain why I do certain things at certain times. Basically the way that I like to structure my day and by no means do I go by a strict like this time, this time, this time, this time type of schedule every single day. When I wake up and go to bed, that's a pretty consistent time. Well, when I wake up, it's very consistent. When I go to bed is usually within the same like hour or two every single night. So those are fairly consistent. But other than that, throughout my whole entire day, it's kind of just a lot of stuff at once. I go physically to certain places at certain times each day because I go to my office nearly every single day just because my business is my life and my passion. So I'm doing this every single day. That's how I like to live. So I get up at around 5.30 and then I go straight into the office. Once I get to the office, usually what I'm doing in the morning is just kind of phone stuff. I'm replying to everybody, doing mentorship meetings, also just replying to a bunch of emails. Usually that's it's all done in the morning and then in the afternoon. It's kind of the same stuff. I do a little bit more like social media type of stuff and interacting with like you guys in the afternoon. I usually leave the office around 4.30. I sometimes eat lunch in the middle of the day. Sometimes I just skip lunch and just work till 4.30 then go get food. I know that's not a good habit, but it doesn't really affect me too much. I always make sure to have like a good breakfast or something to where it can hold me over. And as soon as I get home, that's really the time where I'm just doing creative stuff. So I'm thinking of new ideas, I'm maybe designing designing things I'm maybe working you know, on like you know an ad creative or some sort of ad or something like that this is a really fun time for me and a time that I love to take for myself every single night we just went and got a quick workout in and then we also got some crazy food. I couldn't record because we were in like public place. Now all I'm gonna really do is just kind of pull out my laptop, get some busy work done and just kind of work on some creative sort of stuff. So anything that I need to do as far as busy work, I like to handle now just because it's usually stuff that I'm supposed to do tomorrow but I start doing the night before just so I could be ahead of the game. Usually around this time of night, it's kind of like wind down. I'm spending time kind of with myself, just working on myself, listening to an audiobook, and maybe getting some work done. As I said, I wanted to make this vlog more info based so you guys could understand like a real good schedule to go off of for some of you guys who ask this because I get this question literally all the time. But now I'm just doing, yeah, just kind of creative work and anything like that. For those of you guys who do have another passion, for example, if you're in business and you also do music, that's something that I do, right? If you also are in business and you're also like an artist, right? Whatever it is that you guys do as well, that's like a passion project because sometimes it can be hard to kind of divide your business time versus your like passion time. But usually I use nighttime 
time for activities that are more passion driven. For example, like the books I write, music and any sort of stuff like that that I kind of want to work on. Right now, you guys, we got a little bit of work to do. So we're just going to hop on the laptop and get some work done. <laughs> 